everybody, Catfish Jones here today on the 24th of May from my stoop and I wanted to share with you a song actually this time by request um, from the tail end of the row six catalog but also from a fairly recent uh, Catfish Jones catalog. Um, of course requests are always welcome. I'm glad to receive them and more than happy to, to fulfill them when I can and uh, this one's no different. So, uh, kind of going into the provenance of it, it's, it's a song, like I say, from Row 6 era, which for me is, you know, pre-18. I was probably 17, maybe already 18 by the time I wrote this, but, you know, a, a long time ago, uh, from this point of view. I don't know that it made it onto any of the official Row 6 recordings, but it was in consideration and may have been one of the final cuts for the Safe Place to Hide record as it was when I went through and did old songs a number of years ago on my band camp, catfishjones.bandcamp.com, I decided to do this one along with that set of old songs, and uh, for me it's one that at the time I had heard a lot of, of good things about. It just didn't quite fit the record, I don't think, or if it, if it was left on, it was a near miss. Um, but it's one that I've kept on my mind for, for quite a bit, you know, quite a long time since then. Uh, it, who knows when it comes up and, and whatnot, but I don't push it away. I certainly embrace it and have played it, you know, over the years quite quite regularly. Um, it's a song, song called Break, and like I say, it's from the late Row 6 catalog, but it's also from a fairly recent recording by Catfish Jones called Old Songs on the Bandcamp. So it goes like this. Let's see how you like it. Touch me as I'm away. Shouldn't be here anymore. Said your face. You never loved me. My mistake. Should have left you. Ago when you you were talking from the corners of your mouth, and you never whisper, never shout. Stay, cause I'm leaving.
So yeah, that song's called Break. It's uh, it's one for me that is personal. It, it It's tied to a specific relationship from that era in my life, and from those days, the relationships weren't that experienced. You know, I was in some of my first maybe adult relationships or some of my last youthful relationships, however you figure that, and, uh, you know, those have lasting effects. Knowing you handled things poorly and having to learn from those things so you don't handle them poorly the next time, uh, and, and, and things like that, I think, uh, for me, this song, in writing it, was a way to kind of express those things, and in reflecting on it was a way to judge my reflection at the time. I, I'm sure I was wrong in a lot of things at the time, as, as most times when you look back at your youth, you, you see, um, and this one's no different. So, wanted to share that with you, and I certainly appreciate the request. Um, you know, those road, road six days yielded a lot of fruit, and more than anything, kind of taught me a lot about the system that I think a song should be written under and played under. And uh, that system then has grown into the system both Mississippi Fuzz and I use now in the songs we write with normal reactions. So uh, I guess I'll, I'll part there. I just wanted to thank everybody for watching, staying all the way to the end. And uh, if you have a chance, don't be afraid to like and subscribe on YouTube if you're just on Facebook or on the Roku. Uh, I just appreciate you watching. Just wanted to let you know that uh, it means a lot to me, and uh, I'm going to keep them going. These Wednesdays are mainly what I'm looking forward to in the week, and it, it gives me a, a, a weekly goal, a, a way to break up the, the monotony of, of everyday life. So until I see you next time, cheers.